Well, for almost a month, Two on Your Side has been trying to get specifics from the federal government about how many officers have been transferred from our bridges with Canada down to the southern border. Uh, we've certainly felt the impact with longer wait times trying to get back into western New York. Well, tonight we've got an update. Channel 2's Michael Wooten continues his coverage on this topic as we hold people in power accountable. No mistake. This is Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan, a member of President Trump's cabinet. His department is the third largest in the entire federal government, with a $47 billion annual budget and more than 240,000 employees. He is a key figure in the current administration, and he's been blatantly breaking the law for the past three weeks. The humanitarian crisis at the border with Mexico prompted Congress to pass this spending bill. President Trump signed it into law on July 1st. It required by July 31st, Secretary McAleenan to provide a report on the number of U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers assigned here to northern land ports of entry and who were temporarily assigned to the south. 22 days later, there's still no report. It was supposed to give specifics on how many officers have been reassigned, from where they were taken, for how long, and what's being done to minimize the impact here at the northern border. It's unacceptable, uh, but uh, that report is now coming to Congress, albeit late, and we suspect that we will have a regular uh, report on staffing levels. A few weeks ago, Two on Your Side documented how, at times, delays at our border bridges have significantly increased this summer, just as those officers have been moved south. It's a national security issue, it's a life quality issue, it's an economic development issue. And long waits at the border, we have to continue to uh, to combat them. But Congressman Brian Higgins is somewhat hopeful. He spoke privately for about a half hour yesterday with the acting head of Customs and Border Protection. He says for the Western New York region, 56 officers were transferred south. Now that's down to 13. The problem is not completely resolved, but it's a lot better than it was several months ago and I suspect it will continue to get better. The congressman said he had a great conversation with the new CBP commissioner yesterday. He respects him, takes him at his word. In fact, they're going to meet again soon in Washington, D.C. to talk about other issues affecting our region. The congressman thinks that report will get finished soon, but in the meantime, Homeland Security, again, is just blatantly violating the law, not putting out that report as is required. We reached out once again today to the department but nobody would answer any of our questions. Reporting live, Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.